Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and we're recording for a second time, so my mic was off. We were only five minutes in, but it's pretty bad. Anyways, um, we're here with two Alexes, a Rahul, and a Pokemon, and we are going to get straight into this. So, um, Alex Hill, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yo, what's up? I'm Alex Hill. I've been playing since, what, 2005? Uh, I'm from Michigan. I live in uh, Georgia now, uh, and I, I think we're just going to go with the new meme. I hate new Trevenant. <laughs> Bad deck. I love the old Trevenant, but new Trevenant is bad. Peter. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Joltik. I'm from New York, and uh, Trevenant is a theme deck. <laughs> Rahul. Uh, I'm Rahul. I'm from Orlando, and yeah, I'm not. I don't have anything about Trevenant. I right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson. Uh, I'm Alex. Last name Wilson. Uh, <laughs> well, Alex. I have really done things here. Still haven't got my invite. Pretty sad life. Mm -hmm. Need to Almost win the there. regional. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. So, we uh. Let's get right back into it. So, top three decks we've established. We all are uh, in agreement with this. Uh, Zorark, Buzzswole, and Drampa. We we're talking about how uh, counters. The the meta is centralized around Zorark and its counters, and I was asking if these counters can still, um, still have a place in the meta. So, uh, Alex, go ahead. Talk to us about Glaceon Barbarical and um, such things as this. Yeah, this, this is good because I, I kind of butchered the answer the first time a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically the idea, like with something like Glaceon Barbarical, um, it's so heavily focused towards beating Zoroark um, that you don't really beat anything else. Um, so like, even though it's a Zoroark counter, it's not really great in like the expanded metagame. And then now we have Buzzle that comes around, which not only just... Destroys Glaceon, um, but is also kind of like it beats a lot of the other counters as well, or at least stands a chance. Mm -hmm. And probably has the most consistent shot at beating uh, Zoroark without being gimmicky. So I, I think basically the idea is I don't know why you would play something trying to counter Zoroark um, other than like Drampa or Buzzwool. Okay. I, th I think really the big thing is Buzzwool, um, I think, should take the place of really any. Glaceon or other shenanigans. Okay. Uh, Peter, you posted a pretty cool Zorark list that um, had two really good tech to combat the um, Buzzswole onslaught. Why don't you talk to us about that and um, your thought process there? It actually has more than two techs. Well, I'm bad at counting. Uh, some, so go ahead. Some, of the car some of the cards don't look like a tech for Buzzswole, and uh, that card is Countercatcher. That card is actually a tech for Buzzwool because Buzzwool always goes up on prizes. So, like, Hammerhead kill your uh, little dude, and then you're always uh, behind on on prizes. So, usually, what their game plan is is to pseudo Wudo you so you can't fill your bench and one shot their guys. So, you're able to do plays like uh, Colrus and then hit a counter catcher, evolve into uh, the foul play Zork, and then uh, counter catcher kill something on the bench. So, the, the, the counters that you're talking about is. Um, Mr. Mime, Countercatcher, Foul Play Zorark, and uh, Mewtwo EX. Oh, and plus yeah. power. Five counters. Awesome. So explain uh, for, pe for lay people what uh, Mr. Mime and Mewtwo are doing in there. So Mr. Mime, uh, pretty self-explanatory. It prevents bench damage. So um, usually Buswell likes to play that uh, funny card that hits weakness on the bench now. So... Why Mr. Not? Mime getting that turn one, you know, stops them from getting an extra prize, putting you back to even prizes. So it further pushes the the game plan of the counter catcher mid game, like bring up, and then uh, Mewtwo EX. Um, he's able to one shot uh, both Baby and the Big Buzzwill for relatively small requirements, um, no bench requirements like Zorark does. So. With a DC choice band and uh, plus power, you're able to one shot a uh, one energy plus wall. Okay. Um, Alex Wilson, what are your thoughts? What do you like best of those three? Zorark, Buzzwall, and Drampa? Uh, mostly Buzzwall and Zorark right now. Uh, today, while I was at work walking around doing nothing, I was playing Buzzwall all day. Uh, yeah, I like the deck. Okay, why? <laughs> why? Because, I mean, well, they're two of the top three decks. Right. Uh, 
I know Garboder typically has the advantage over like the three top decks, which is itself Buzzwell and Zoroark. But I like how fast Buzzwell hits. I like the addition of Beast Ring, Diancy, and uh, the what's the what's the is it Ultra Energy with the Ultra Energy beast, Prism? Beast Energy. Beast Energy. Um, it's it's just an OP deck. It's maxed for super heavy damage, and it's got now it's the deck has an additional like three, four, five, fifty damage within the deck per turn, possibly. And Beast Ring's just OP. Um, Rojo, what do you think of those three? Which ones do you prefer? Sorry, could you repeat the question? Which three? Um, Buzz, top three. Drampa, uh, the top three. Yeah, uh, I don't like Drampa. It's like beating your head against a wall. Um, <laughs> I like Zorak as a deck. It's very, very strong. I've never been a fan of playing Mirror with it, which is the only reason I have not played it and expanded thus far. And I have piloted Fighting twice uh, before B-String already, and I think it's still very strong. And it's probably would be one of my top choices going into this weekend. Okay. Um, so before we move off these decks, let's talk about counters of these decks. Um, what is, we mentioned with Buzzswole, some of the counters that it was playing. All right, Zorark for Buzzswole. What, um, you can pick any deck, any of the three decks, and your favorite counter to that deck. Uh, Rahul, we we'll back to you with this. Um... I guess I'll pick Buzzhole. Uh, the deck I'm most scared of sitting across the table is Night March. Um, I feel like you either have to get very lucky to win that matchup. Uh, they have to miss. They if they miss once, it becomes a 50-50. Like if they miss an attack once, it becomes a 50-50. If they miss twice, you can win. But like the realistic chance of them missing uh, is very low. Uh, if the lists are getting better and better, if they play Zork, it's nice because you can actually just take two prizes. But uh, otherwise, you just kind of sit down. They just Night March you with a pump kaboo with like five night marchers and you've lost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um Hill, what's your favorite uh counter to either of those um, three decks? <clears throat> it's kind of funny. So it's it's a little bit of a cop out, but I think um for Drampa Gob, I think one of the, the worst things to see if you're playing Drampa is a uh a fast start from the deck uh that you're playing against, and then uh probably two or more field blowers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, really anything that, like, you get a fast start and you can kind of, like, thin your deck out a little bit. Um, I think, really, a lot of their, um, the Drampa deck, what they're trying to do is, what, like, Garbotoxin and you to four or less and then, like, right just add you off. Um, so if you can, if you can, like, eventually draw that field blower because you thin your deck out, um, then, yeah, I like, guess it's, it's pretty easy to win for a lot of decks. I mean, they don't have a lot of HP. Um, they've been playing, what, like, Sudowoodoo and like a bunch of parallels, but I mean with with one with one blower you can blow her off the tool and the parallel. I mean, and then like if you're playing Zoroark, just draw a bunch, hex the Sudowoodoo. Like you're asking for a lot, but I, I think if you get a fast start off, you can thin your deck out. You should be able to a lot of decks I think have a chance against Drampa um, because they don't have a fast start. They don't have a whole lot of uh, they don't have a lot of like raw power. They're really kind of or focus on kind of cheesing the game out. Right. Um, Alex Wilson, what's your favorite counter to any of those three? Uh, right now I'm enjoying playing Roadblock, Pseudo Wudo, and <laughs> Buzzwall. Yeah. Uh, you love this may not be like a counter, but it technically is because Zoroark can still win that matchup. Right. And Pseudo Wudo more or less really hinders them from being able to cap up, catch up, keep up. Sure. And then there's a there's Mewtwo EX too. I'm seeing in some lists. That's pretty neat to try and one shot Buzzwell's a little easier than a basic <laughs> Mewtwo. For sure. Uh, Joltik, what's your favorite counter to any of the big three? My favorite counter is uh, Mega Gardevoir. Hey. Uh, you have you have a really good Buzzwell matchup, a really good Drampa matchup, and then your Zorak matchup is basically a coin flip of who goes first and starts hexing a bunch of times. All right. So um. Is that the play? I don't know. It depends what your matchups are day one. <laughs> but if you can make it to day two, you might have a good time. All right. Um, outside of that, which I think we've clearly <laughs> established as our tier one, um, I have a few decks that are rolling through my head for tier two. My fourth deck is Trevenant. Uh, everyone I talk to tells me it's really bad. I like it, but uh, talk to... 
Sam and Pablo, after there, I just messaged them really quickly, and they messaged back really quickly, and they said, I asked them if Forbidden Light fixes its problems that um, they ran into. They said the problems were not starting Phantom and Zorark, and that those problems are not fixed. Um, <laughs> so what do you, does anyone agree with me that it's good, or is it just actually trash? It's a theme deck. Theme deck. Yeah, this is where the meme came from. Um, <laughs> I was hoping that we could all say something like mean about Trevenant. Um, uh, you want to go no, around? Nobody went with it, but <laughs> no, just in the intro. Oh, okay. Um, I, I think in, in theory, Trevenant could be good um, if Boswell pushes the Zoroarks out of, out of the way, but I think <laughs> like Kika's already shown that you can build yeah. Zoroark to beat Boswell. Um, I mean, like I've been playing that Zoroark list a lot, and I don't feel bad about playing Boswell at all. Um, but yeah, I don't think the metagame will be great for it, and I just think it doesn't set up well enough. Yeah. Kind of sad because I've played Trevenant Excelgor, I've played Trevenant Gengar, uh, and loves playing those decks. But yeah, I just think right now Trevenant is just too fragile. Can't set up enough. Sad. Alex, do you agree? Wilson? Yes. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree. Okay. Completely. It's like keep those Trevenants away from my rear quasas. <laughs> there we go. Uh, keep the robot. Just I'm... open the robot for me. I'm fully expecting Zorak to win this, so we shall see. But after that, I had Night March as my number five. Um, Peter, talk to us about Night March. <laughs> um, it's still good, I guess, but I don't know. After Utah, I just don't want to play it anymore because <laughs> I'm never a big fan of playing like Pokemon Ranger. And, and in Utah, I played against... Uh, multiple item lock slash Garbodor decks. And even though I was supposed to win against the Neuburn, um, the guy just like drew it out to a tie because he was able to Chaos Wheel or whatever Neuburn's attack mm -hmm. is and stop me from using energies. Yeah. Um, so Zorark or no Zorark in... Um... I mean, if you play, if you want to go with Night March, I would probably not play any Zorark. In the deck. Uh -huh. Just play multiple shamans and then the one copy of a Ranguru. Any other Night March believers? Or anyone do I mean, who believes in Night March, I guess? The Flea. I, I do. I mean I like Kika I like Kika's list. It's a good list. Um if you hit the right matchups, I think you'll have a good time in day two. But if you can't make it through day yeah. one, like if you can get to day two, it's a it's a perfect day two deck, I think. Like if you look back at Utah, it would have smashed almost every deck in day two. But the problem is the day one meta is so diverse yeah. that you don't know what you're going to run into in expanded. What what is it? Um, what is it good against? Everything. You literally just blow up the top three. Like it's good part. against Buzzwill. Um, it's good against Zorwark that cuts the counters, which a lot of the lists have been. Yeah, there's no reason. Um, for that. And then uh, I don't know about Drampa. I know I think the Drampa, Drampa players play will. I think the Drampa players will swear that it that Drampa wins, but I don't know what Kika says. Okay, so if you look at the Drampa list from Utah, I guarantee you if I played any of them with Night March, it would not have been a fun time for them. Uh, they, they cut down to very few tool drop trubbishes. Um, they cut the muscle van, which was able to one-shot the Joltik. So I, I, I don't even know how they took one-shots on me without like actually using Trash Lanch every turn. That's funny. They probably just have to assume that you play badly and like, dump a bunch like, of Night Marchers. Yes, so the, yes the Oracorio Oro will... Um, you know, take one prize, but I'm never going to play into the two prize or choreo swing. Yeah. And I'm never going to give them D-Valley so they can use it for free either. So usually what their strategy comes down to is uh, pushing with an early Lele. But if you can respond with like a, a Pumpkaboo, you drop your D-Valley early and um, just get the perfect numbers to kill the Lele with a choice band, they can't really respond to that much damage with Oracorio. Even if they do swing with it for free, they'll have the six damage to kill your Pumpkaboo, and then just one left over to put somewhere else, which is usually irrelevant. Okay. Um, so another deck that people have been mentioning is Malamar. Does Malamar have any place in Expanded? No. Uh, the reason yeah. I say that is because you have eels yeah, have already return, existed. Right? Eels have existed. Bronzong has existed. We've had them for years. Why have they not seen success? Hex exists. Your stage one setup deck. Sure, psychic typing is okay, 
but like you lose to Zorak even harder, I think, in expanded. And it's just there's you can't do that. You just can't lose that hard to Zorak. Yeah. I agree. That's why I said. Uh Hex is too strong. You can get hexed every I was playing against a Zorak the other day. They went first and hexed every single turn. It was a six turn <laughs> game and I lost. I was so oh, mad. man. I was like, last time you... that happened to me, I lost top four at regional, so that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> what an awful way to lose. What a beautiful game. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's talk about um, rogue decks. What is your favorite rogue? If you have like one that you're you know, obviously hiding for the tournament, you're not going to share that, obviously. But if, what's your favorite rogue that you're willing to share? Uh, Wilson, why don't you start us off on this? I'm going to steal maybe two of y'all's. Lapras. Lapras is... Expanded? Not... My gym <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I know Raul posted about it yesterday. I just want to see if he regards it. Um, I haven't really expanded anything but the three puzzles. I don't know if it was expanded or standard. I don't know. It's good. It's almost now. It's not my. I don't like an expanded. But anyway, sorry. Go ahead. But no, only three decks I've been testing is Garb, Zoro, and Buzz. I haven't touched anything else. I guess if it would be a rogue deck, it would be Rayquaza. Yay. I built list, but I. Oh. Damn, he's trying to like counter my Mega Guardi. They what? Oh my he's trying to counter my Mega Guardi, dude. What are you doing? No, no. no. <laughs> Mysterious is pretty really neat. I mean, that's all it got from anything, and it's still roadblocked every other matchup, or at least every matchup. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, Rahul. Uh, I like Mill because I'm a degenerate, Same. but. Uh, Durant cannot beat Buzzhole, which is unfortunate, and I don't think it beats Zork enough either. So if I had to play some sort of mill, I'd probably play, like, Sylveon. But, like, Sylveon Magnezone is the uh, route uh, I would uh, take. Oh, Dual Brain. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. The Joltic Special. You just get in there, you play two supporters a turn, you win. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to actually play some Sylveons now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. There's one kid I coach. You will always play Sylveon. Oh gosh. Um, it's just like there needs to be a rule, like a, like a, like a law of Pokemon. It's like yeah, to at every Tordor tournament where Sylveon is every tournament where Sylveon is legal, you will play. There will be a Sylveon. No, I actually have to. Somebody will one. play one. Franklin Part Two. Um, Hill, go ahead. Best Rogue. So my my pet deck right now is uh, Don Fan. Um. Because you you with the Diancy Prism Star um, and then the the Choice Band and the Strong Energy, you one shot a Zoroark. Ooh. Um, like if 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 you could tell me that I would play all Zoroarks or I would play like eighty percent Zoroarks, I would I would play Don Fan. Um, the Wobbuffets just actually like completely shut them out of the game. It's pretty crazy. Um, I haven't like had time to like refine a list or anything. I've just kind of been like messing around with it. Um. The problem is that Buzzwool is not even close to auto win. Um, it might not even be favorable. Uh, I think a good Buzzwool player can pretty easily win, uh, especially because the baby Buzzwool one shots a Dom fan. Uh, maybe Mr. Mime could help that a little bit because, like, the problem is you get to snipe a Dom fan a bunch of times. Um, that's one of the problems, but yeah, I think Dom fan has a lot of potential. Okay. <clears throat> I'd say like ten a day out of like every hundred games. It's it's a good deck. I'm I'm gonna hit one in Virginia. I know it. You see that many? Yeah. People around. I also like see it. Dark Knight, so that might be irrelevant. I don't think people <laughs> own the cards for Dawn Fan, dude. I don't. I don't think so. I don't even own them. Like I don't. I have Haluchas. That's about it. <laughs> There's probably like four people who are going to this tournament who have been like really wanting to play Dawn Fan for like months and like bought their Dawn Fan cards like a year ago, and they're finally getting their chance to play Dawn Fan, and like their first East Coast like expanded tournament. In, in like a year, I don't know. All right, Joltik, what's your rogue? Um, besides Mega Gardevoir. I mean, you can do it if you want. If you want to expand on it a little bit, or um, if you want to do another one, that's fine too. Yeah, man, Mega Gardevoir is testing pretty well. I'm just like trying to figure out the correct sixty cards to run. But yeah, it, it beats Buzzwell really bad, man. They can't do anything. Because you're part psychic type, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you, just, you just one-shot them. <laughs> and if they, like, snipe any of your dudes, you just, like, blow them up with your attack so they can't take prizes. And oh, you yeah. Have, <laughs> you have multiple max potions. They can't, like, do any cute stuff. 
That's pretty bad for them. Are you playing um, D Valley? Yeah, you play like four D Valleys. And the boost they got from this new set is Diantha. So if uh, they one shot your uh, Mega Gardevoir, you can just Diantha for two cards. It's like double puzzle. And Mysterious Treasure. For who? And Mysterious Treasure, yes. Did you play Treasure? Mysterious yeah. Treasure actually is really good in that deck because you can Mysterious Treasure for the Hoopa, and then you can also Mysterious Treasure for the, the Mega. Nice. Do you play a Lele split, or is it all Jirachi just for the Hoopa? No, it's all Jirachi because you go turn one Hoopa, you can get Jirachi, Shaman, uh, and Guardi. Right. That sounds cute. Cool. So the the deck pretty much plays like like uh like Zora. You just um pretty much uh, hex every turn and max push and attack, so they can't kill you. Okay. Refresh me on Diantha right quick. Isn't that basically a teammate, but only for fairy type Pokemon? Or no, it's different. When, when when your fairy Pokemon gets knocked out, you can uh, play it and then take any two cards out of your discard pile. So it's immediate. Yes, it's a double puzzle. Okay. Nice. Um, so looking at this tournament, do you all have any uh, ideas or thoughts on what you expect to see to be most prevalent? I'm not going to go around on this one. Uh, any ideas on what you expect to see a lot of or the most of? For sure, Buzzwool. Buzzwool, yeah. Buzzwool. Buzzwool oh, yeah. will be the most played, you think? Yes. Yes. What percentage of the field are we talking? 30? 20. 20 at least. 20. Nothing is ever 30. Yeah, 20. 20 Jennifer was that once, right? <laughs> oh, for Seattle, but yeah, that's... Yes, that was the one anomaly because... But I mean, like, person. look at Seattle, you know? It's the same... It's, it's a lot of the same principles. It's like when, when new stuff comes out, people get really excited and want to play it. I mean, they always have, you know, for years and years. Um, people like shiny and so, cards. And then also it's expanded, so people just like to play whatever they have in standard. I mean, either just from familiarity or just not having the cards or, I mean, like, I'll wake up in the morning for a League Cup and just play whatever I've built because I'm just super lazy, you know. Uh, probably not as much lazy for the regionals, but yeah. Lots of reasons Buzzle is going to be big. Yeah. Um, and what else do we... So let's say it's 20% Buzzwool. Is Zorark number two? Yeah, like 15% probably. Zorark at least. Yes. And what, anything else above 10%? Drampagarb? No. No? Drampagarb isn't usually played Unlikely. in heavy numbers. It's just the better players that have been playing Drampagarb are consistently playing Drampagarb. That's why it keeps placing. Okay. The last... The, Go ahead. Yeah, the general public doesn't pick up Drampagarb very much. Like, I have not seen th that many general public players picking up Drampagarb, but I've seen, like, for example, when I played Costa Mesa, the X-Files all played Drampagarb. Right. As long with, like, the, the the group of Azul in them. Like, they all played it. Like, they like Drampagarb, and they'll keep playing Drampagarb because they like it. Um, We saw... Sableye Garb actually win the last expanded regional. It was a very small one, but um, what do you guys think about Sableye Garb? He was a very good player. I don't know how he won the tournament. He got very <laughs> fortunate with his matchups in day one, two, and top eight, I believe. Oh, I think he, he only managed... hit one Zorark the whole time. Yes, and that was his loss. Yeah. Uh, he hit me, and I tied him. If I had a couple more minutes, I would have won the game as well. And he already understood the buzz was a bad matchup. But other than that, he hit, like, Gardevoirs and, like, Lucario's. And no matter what people say, Gardevoir is a very favorable matchup for the deck. You can eventually get them to a point where, for Sableye. You just eventually lock them to the point where they can only secret spring one energy. You lock them, you stick something in the active, and they can only attach one energy per turn. They're, they're maxing out at 60 damage with, uh, with Gardevoir if they can't find their blowers. Right. So, like, Gardevoir is not that hard of a matchup. Um... Lucario is an easy matchup for him. He just and Drampagarb is like very, very good for that deck. So I think Drampagarb kind of, is probably the easiest matchup for him. He honest. bodied the Drampagarb. It's not even close. Nice. I know he like farmed them day two. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. The 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 deck just loses to Getsis, which he probably played like very little of. If if only like I think the only Getsis deck he probably played against the whole tournament was that one Zorark he lost to. Okay. So don't play it. All right. Oh. Um, yeah, don't play it if you're not even good with it. Like I would <laughs> say, you have to be first of all really, really good with the deck to okay. even like just bring it to the tournament. I mean, Diancy giving uh, a Buzzwell plus twenty boost is just right. really bad for the deck too. You just need two in combination of 
INC strong muscle band or a super easy knockout. And the matchup was already bad. So speaking of Diancy, you have, you have bad matchups sorry. against like half the field. Sorry. No. You're good. Uh, speaking of Diancy, I've been hearing people talking about Mega, not Mega Guardi, Guardi GX playing Diancy and expanded. Is that a thing? What? Oh, the evolving Diancy? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like you're attacking instead of using Beach. There's a very Come relevant oh, list true. that have already been established are playing Beach into Karina. That's all you need. Are you okay. talking about Diancy Prism? No, he's talking about um, evolving Diancy. What does that mean? Maybe. Do? For a fairy, you evolve one of your... It's, it's, like, it's like Spirit thing. Tomb. Yeah. I know, the Diancy, oh. like, the Diancy Prism in there almost almost seems okay. The bench space is so like, bad for that deck, though. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, like, what, Galad hits 130, Choice Band 160, Diancy 180. 180, you know? That's, That's not enough cute. to kill both Like, I could see why you would play it. I just don't think... Throwing that, that young plus power, you got to knock out some plus <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Awesome. All right, um, so let's go around again, and this time I want you to give me the best deck that we have not mentioned yet. Not mentioned or spoken on, at least, at all. Um, we'll start with Rahul. I don't think there is one. Uh, it's a cop-out answer, but, like, Expanded is a very, like, you either beat Zork or you get clapped by Zork, and now you add something new to the meta where it's like, now you beat Buzzle or you get clapped by Buzzle, and those are, like, the two kings of the format, and there's nothing that can, like, it's so rogue and secret that can beat both. Like okay. it's just, it's just not feasible. I was gonna say Greninja, but it gets bodied by Buzz. It's so bad. Okay. Um, Alex. I have one. I, I have one. Oh, there you go. Alex, right, go ahead, Alex. Me? Yeah. Sorry. Um, I was trying to look at even what like what decks uh, we haven't talked about. I think probably the best deck that we haven't talked about at all is is Toad. Okay. Um, I think Toad Garb could be pretty okay. Um, the problem is that it's just so easy for decks like like Buzzwool and Zorowark to just draw one card. Like if Buzzwool draws the B string at the right time, or if Zorowark draws the the like you could have them dead drawing for like five turns, and then if they just talk to the field blower, they can send their entire deck out, have game next turn guaranteed, and hex you. You know. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, one top aided in the. Um, the German regionals recently, um, one top forward in Costa Mesa. I think, um, I mean, I, it depends on how bad of a matchup Buzzwool is, but I think with Trash Lance, it's, it's definitely salvageable. I think that's something that I would want to put some time into if I had more than three days until Virginia. <laughs> yeah. All right, Joltik, what do you think? Uh, I think for sure the best deck we have not talked about is Archie's Maxis. Oh my god! Yikes! <laughs> Anyone disagree? I don't know. I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how many how many draw outs do you have after a turn one gets this? If like you how many, three how many times? Yeah, but if draw? the most popular I mean, deck is Buzzwool, you're not getting turn one gets this. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You spank Buzz. That's fair. You do spank Buzz. The boy Gyarados. But, that like, thing goes so, in. I, I still think that the, the problem is how many like. When you do get Getsist, or when a random Buzzle player plays a Getsist in, in their list, you know. Honestly, like if I play that deck, have? I might play like four Rangaroo, to be honest. Like how many? But how many outs can you draw off of a hand that gets Getsist and still get off a Maxis or an Archies? I mean, like Ultra oh. Ball almost always do it. Ultra or Order Pad into Ultra Ball almost always do yeah. it. But like, I hate Order Pad, I don't think but you have you know, that many it's outs. That it. It's pretty good outs, dude. You just need a Battle Compressor. Like hit one Shaman, and you're good. Oh yeah, but I mean you have to hit like draw it. I know that deck just it's just too easy to take advantage of. I feel. All right, Wilson. Well, I can think of a certain Pokemon that could do certain well if a certain Pokemon was freaking banned. You're just not. <laughs> freaking deck. But um, maybe Waylord, I guess. Okay. It gets one shot by Buzz. <laughs> But... Is it? Is it giving me one shot now? Yes. Yeah, I can now, yeah. One, six, Absorption eight. 240 into like choice so, band. Honestly, Whaler just point. can't deal with 30 30 snipes. Just can't deal with it. Okay. Because okay. you 30 30 and then you can hit it. Yeah, because so they, they don't play rough seas anymore. Oh, because so they're playing beat. They're playing beach. So the 30 30 is like really annoying. They have to waste two resource cards, like getting rid of the, the 30 30 both times. You just and like, like Buzzwool. You can hit 220 pretty like hard. 
You just made me glad post Wolf's a thing. It just push. It sounds like it's just pushing so much garbage out of the format. That makes oh, it's, it's it good. It yeah, is. it's a good thing for the format. Yeah. I mean, I still don't like the deck, but I, I'm just glad <laughs> it's there. I'm glad it exists. Um, cool. So it sounds like we've hit just about everything. Lucario's out. We saw some Luc yeah. Lucario success. I think so, yeah. It's just like a worse puzzle, I guess. It's yeah, not great. It, it, it's part of the problem is that it, it loses to a lot of the same stuff that Buzzwell loses to. So any of the Buzzwell hate that gets packed is going to also beat Lucario. Right, yeah. Buzzwell, like Lucario's like, hey, I play four focus sash, but I also can't one shot anything because I'm not playing choice bands now. <clears throat> and like, Buzzwell just feasts on it. Like, I played Jose day. I've literally played Jose round one of the tournament. No and way. I bodied Jose. Um, like, and he was like, you got lucky, bro. And I'm like, no, I literally just 6 0 you one game, and the other one you took two prizes because you don't one shot anything. Uh, like, I just went scramble switch, kill, and then like, I went like kill with Lycanroc, scramble switch into a new Buzzwell, like, Bob, and then just sniped Rylos for the rest of the game. But Diancy could do 190 pretty easily, relatively yes. easily. But... And also, you can just like, you put 30 on Remorade every time with a jet punch, and the, 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 that damage goes nowhere. Like, their artilleries are dead. They rely so heavily on Octillery. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, they have the Diancy, but they don't have Choice Band because they're playing uh, Focus Sash. Oh, right, 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 right. And they have to, because their engine is, like, four Focus Sash, like, three Acer all, like, scoop up Cyclone. Okay. And, like, that's the only way the deck functions. Okay. Well, I have uh, two more roundabouts, and then we'll be finished. We can close with shoutouts and stuff. So, um, first one, if you had to pick a player and a deck, to win the tournament, <clears throat> who would it be and with what? Um, Hill, why don't you start us off? Um, if I had to pick a player in a deck, I think it'd be Frank Diaz, because uh, he is putting in the uh, putting in the hours to get the invite. <laughs> That's right. um, and I think uh, he will win with Zoroark, because uh, for one, I think it's very good. Uh, I think it doesn't lose anything, and I think it's definitely something that, uh, for one, I think it's what Frank's going to play. Um, but I think uh, with Buzzwool kind of just taking over, I think people might forget about Zoroark a little bit. And maybe some Zoroarks are going to get lucky with uh, some matchups and some players that aren't prepared. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's bad if you're Buzz, um, like Wilson said earlier, I don't think it's bad if you're playing Buzz to tech against Zoroark a little bit. Like That still needs to happen. The deck is just that strong. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, Buzzwool, basically, you're already naturally teching against Buzz. You have Baby Buzzwool that or you're teching against Zoroark. Right. You have Baby Buzz on four prizes, one shot says Zoroark. Um, you play Pseudo Wudu and you have Brooklet, so you can find the Pseudo Wudu super easily all the time. Right. I mean, yeah, you, you could even tech harder if you wanted. I don't play <laughs> Enhanced or more Baby Buzz. I don't know. Peter, what do you think is um, which player in which deck? Um, let's see. Who has not? I'm gonna go with uh, Pram with Night March. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Are you, are you gonna get to number one in the rankings if he if he wins with Night March? I don't know. Should I switch my answer to me with Night March? <laughs> <laughs> also an acceptable answer. Um, Wilson, what you got? First off, I'm due. Um, <laughs> secondly, uh, Azul is definitely going to top eight if he plays Garboder. I don't know about when, but he's making top eight. Okay. Uh, Rahul, player in deck. Alex with Zork. Which Alex? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no problems. <laughs> I mean, Alex uh, has been having like a ridiculous second half of the season. Uh, he's very overdue for a regionals win, I think, at this point. Um, as long as he doesn't misplay like he did at that cup, uh, he'll be fine. Oh, or in top yeah. four of the uh, Portland. As long as he doesn't misplay like that, he'll be fine. <laughs> just getting out of my system. Yeah, he's just he's just throwing it all away right now. Now I'm just going to go watch the Roanoke stream. It's going to be Joltik uh, Hill finals, and I'm going to be like, nice. It's in the sunny beaches of Cancun. <laughs> what am I playing in the finals, though? Night March against Zork, obviously, dude. Or you're playing Buzzwolf. Oh, no, no, not, not Night Night March. Not Night March. No Night March. 60 card Buzzwolf, uh, <laughs> 60 card Zork mirror, dude. <laughs> 60 cards are arc mirror. Sounds good. I can definitely tell you I'm playing something that's probably going to lose to Night March because I don't care. So please don't be playing Night March in the finals. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> can right. I change my answer? Yeah, go for it. 
Joltik with Night March. Hey, it's lit. All right. Um, best deck that you will not touch for this tournament. And then we'll close. Um, Wilson. Rayquaza destroys oh everything. My gosh, I Literally knew I was everything. It, it one shots everything in the freaking format except Waylord. It's irrelevant. If, it's if power, bro. you just go nine rounds from hitting a single roadblock pseudo Wudo, like that would be so good. Um, what about yeah, a turn one Hex Maniac? That's, that's good too. If I'm playing it, if my opponent plays it, <laughs> Rahul, best deck you will not touch. Grab a Grabador. Um, it's incredibly boring to play, and it's like incredibly boring to sit across the table from. And I just like a lot of the time the game just the game doesn't the deck doesn't win games like convincingly. You limp to the finish line. You're like, <laughs> oh man, how did I win that one? Like you're like running a marathon and you're like crawling at the end. And I just don't want to do that. Yeah. I'd like to finish game. Alex. Will yeah, mine's probably play. also Drampa Garb. No, you're good. <laughs> Um, mostly, I mean, it's similar to Yveltal Garb in, like, past formats. I just don't have a lot of experience with the deck, or especially in the mirror. Yeah, I, I echo a lot of what Rahul said. Um, consistency is a concern of mine. Um, I think sometimes, like, things things in that, um, things in your opponent deck might threaten you, like, I don't know, like an Orangaru, maybe? Um, and so you have to, like, take early prizes, and then you get and low, and you just don't draw out of it. I don't know. The deck always it just always kind of draws awkwardly for me, and yeah, you have you have a lot of like fifty fifty or slightly favorable matchups, but that means they're also like very losable. Um, I think other otherwise like Gardevoir is probably the worst deck I wouldn't touch or the best deck I wouldn't touch because I I, I actually I mean I would consider Drampa, but I, I I don't think I'll actually play any games with or play it. So, uh, -huh. uh Peter. Uh, the best deck I will not be playing is a Buzzwall. I'm leaving my Buzzwall cards at home. <laughs> Remove Temptation. That's good. All right, great. Um, thank you guys so much for your time. We'll just go around and give any shout-outs that you want to give. Um, Peter, we'll go back to you. Um, no shout-outs. Thanks for having me. Look forward to playing at Virginia this weekend. That's right. Hopefully I can get some uh, points. Same. Uh, Wilson, shout out. Um, shout out. That's my shout out. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 60 cards. I'm finally going to be writing an article soon. It'll be like, like right after Madison. Uh, go check out my not so alive YouTube channel, The Emerald Break. Hey. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to finally get my invite after not going to any cups at all this season. You should change your fan art. Uh, or your art to a dead Rayquaza for your uh, <laughs> for your channel. How about I just put like a giant red sign, just like <laughs> roadblocked. There you go, perfect. All right, Rahul, shout outs. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, the handle's below. Uh, the same username I stream on Twitch. Uh, pretty much every weekday. I'm trying as long as I'm not exhausted from traveling or traveling. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. And Mr. Hill. Yeah, follow me on Twitter, por favor. I think it's down below. Um, yeah, I stream sometimes. I've been very inconsistent, but if you check out my Twitter, I'll tell you when I stream. And then check out uh, Six Prizes Underground, if you would. I write articles, and so do a lot of other good people. Good writers, good players, good sure. articles. Six Prizes. For myself, I write rogue articles for Flipside usually, but I have one coming out about Top five decks with expanded, and I copied other people's lists and put them on there for you guys. <laughs> free, not not like stealing stuff, but like put out the ones that were handed out for free or updated some. So if you're looking for uh, a base, if you haven't tested yet for Virginia, and you're looking for a, a starting point for certain lists, um, they'll be in there, and that'll be out uh, about the same time as this video, actually. So, all right, uh, thank you guys for your time, appreciate it, and good luck to everybody in Virginia.